Hello, gear fans, car fans, out in the race world, I'm known as Racer X. And I'm going to present to you, and you're probably watching this video because you have an interest in gears. In particular, I'm going to move forward with the topic area because background information can be attained from other places. And in particular, if you go to this link on YouTube, you'll find Engineer Jim and he'll give you some details which I'm going to bypass in this presentation if you want the particular details on how calculations are put together in a particular aspect. So once again, Engineer Jim at this site can avail you to the particulars that I'll jump over and we can call that site here the primer. So that being said, we'll remove this and we'll proceed forward. So we're talking gears. Gears are what drives your car, in particular, the wheels. And for all you speedheads and want to go fast, guys, it's all about making these wheels move. Now, with that being said, we have our engine. I have an example here of a V8 engine, whatever size it may be, five liters, six liters, all the way down to two liters. And of course, not a V8 two liter engine. At that point, we have our four bangers. But what will always be in play, regardless of the engine size, are the gears. First gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, which I have leveled out here. These numbers here that you're seeing here are for a Kia Stinger twin turbo. I've only done the first five gears. The rest is just math. In particular, the most important aspect of your speed dynamic in your gears is that final drive ratio. This is most important comes into your go-go as you try and drive fast, whether it's drag strip, straight line, or whether you're doing road course and auto course as I am myself. One thing that engineer Bob left out, didn't talk about very clearly, which this is my added value, is the wheels. But in particular, the tires. It's not just the wheels, it's also the tires that go around the wheel that makes your final size of circle. So right here I've labeled out a description of that Kia Stinger tire size. It's 275 by 40 wheel size or rim size 20. That's a very important aspect because that is the circumference calculation that's necessary to decide when this gear ratio is turning the wheels how much is one circular turn. So this final drive ratio is telling us that the engine is going to turn over 2.6 times to make this wheel go around once. But that once is what the size of the tire plus the wheel. So here we have a calculation that lays that out. First we need the width of the tire. That's this 275, the width of the tire. But that's in millimeters and that has to be converted to inches, which the conversion factor is 25.4. Thereafter, the next value that's important is the aspect ratio. That is the height of the tire. Low profile people know what I'm talking about. The lower that number, the lower the tire, tire size on the wall. The bigger the number, the taller the tire size. So that aspect ratio. You multiply that aspect ratio by two because we have our wheel size, we have the tire, we have this side as one side, and this side is the other side. So it's two. And then plus the wheel size in the middle. In this particular case, it's 20. So when you plug in the numbers, 275 divided by 25.4, multiplied by the aspect ratio, which in this particular case is 0.4, that gives us this calculation here, multiplied by two, add in the rim size 20, and that gives us our overall circumference around this tire wheel size. And in this particular case, it's 89.994 inches. That's gonna come into play, very important, this inches, because our dynamics in gear ratio are inches. And then miles per hour, converted to from inches up to miles per hour. So with that being said, that's the part that engineer Bob has left out. How do we get that circumference calculation for the wheel right here and then the tire, the tire itself to give us our overall 
circumference about one turn of that tire as you go down the road, drag racing or autocross racing or whatever type of uh, performance vehicle you're driving. All right, with that being said, let's go on to the next important thing. Your gear speed and your ultimate speed in any particular gear. In any particular gear. And this is where engineer Bob has given some primary information. I'm just going to jump right forward moving in. The first part is your engine RPMs. That is your max value. That is the value of where your red line is. That's where the point where if you go past the red line on your car, you're headed toward failure, engine failure. In this particular calculation that I'm presenting to you, the engine RPMs are for the Kia, and that is, looking at my values here, 62,000 RPMs, revolutions per minute for this particular engine, okay? Then we have to multiply that by 60 to get an hour, and that's moving us toward that hour, miles per hour calculation. Then comes our next piece, so that's a multiplication there, and that's, that's easy enough to find from any particular engine where the red line is times 60. But then where the information where you gotta find from the data from the engineers, what are the particular gear sizes? First gear, second gear, third gear, so on and so on, and then finally, the most important value, the final drive ratio. So, what that tells us then with that number, we've got our engine speed per hour, multiply by whatever gear we have, times the final drive ratio. So that gives a calculation. Turn the crank, a number pops out, and then comes where we started this particular video. What's the circumference? What's that tire size once around? So we can move down the road. And this particular value, which we've calculated here, it's 89.994 inches. We pop that number in here. Then you multiply that out, and then you divide, finally, by this calculation here, 63,360, which is the calculation of a mile in inches to give us the relationship to the circumference value, which is in inches, which then cancels each other out so that all we're left with is miles per hour up here, miles per hour. So if you're in first gear with your final drive ratio with a circumference of 89.9 inches, your first gear, your maximum speed that you'll be able to get out of this car will be 40, bear with me, 42 miles, point seven eight, 42.78 miles per hour in first gear. That is your red line point. That's the fastest this car can go in first gear. Once you hit that point, you should be at 42 miles per hour. Next, once you shift to second gear, Second gear will allow you to hit 64.16 miles per hour. Now you're heading down the road. Third gear, 95.76 miles per hour. That's in third gear. That's pretty fast for a third gear car. Next from there, fourth gear, you can get as high as 120. 98 miles per hour. That's in fourth gear, and keep in mind what we're talking about in fourth gear at the red line. You're, you're taking that car, you're taking that vehicle for all it's worth, for all it's worth. And then fifth gear, fifth gear, that gets you to 156, 91. And for this particular uh, Kia demonstration, I've only gone to fifth gear, the rest of the calculation goes on to this particular transmission has eight gears, so we continue on the calculation. I'm going to give an uh, Excel spreadsheet that you can download. So at any given time, whatever car you're considering, you just plug in the numbers and out pops your, your speed at any given gear. Now, the most important thing, which I haven't discussed here because all we're talking about are gears here, is horsepower. Because once you start matching up gears, you'll find that other cars 
will give you comparable speeds. You're like, hey, wait a minute. I got a, a Dodge Challenger Hellcat. That's 70 horses. I'm running calculations. It's only slightly better. 45, maybe 67. You're like, what the heck? What did I buy? That's where horsepower comes in. Horsepower says, how quickly can you get to 42? How quickly you can get to 64? And that's, that's a whole nother calculation of the factors of time to get to these maximum speeds. So with that being said, there's my contribution. The most important thing of these calculations, gives you your car, here's your gear, gear speeds. Be careful, drive safe, always wear a helmet.